Hello, my name's Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install Pi-hole on Run Tippy. This was a viewer suggested video, so thank you. Um, so, so a little bit about the series I'm going over at Home Lab. So we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So we're going to start in the Run Tippy App Store because I want to explain what's happening in the background and then apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to Pi-hole. And then now uh, uh, a metadata is the description for the App Store. That's what you'll see on the App Store. And then logo is the logo of Pi-hole. And then config.json is the config to make sure that uh, this goes right in the app store. So this is the instructions for the app store on what happens. So uh, the requirements is our port 53. The uh, proxy server is going to be running on 8081. It's available, exposable, uh, heavy version is 9. The version of the Powell is 2023.52. And then... It's going to ask some form fields down here. So this is going to be for the the app password. So this is going to be the pie hole password of the web UI. And then the network interface. So I'm going to go over to Docker Compose now. And version 3.7 of Docker Compose, the services, and then the pie hole underneath the services. Container name is going to be pie hole. The image is going to be coming from Docker Hub because there's no URL uh, in the beginning. And then it's going to use a calendar for the version, a, a calendar type for the version. So it's 2023.5.2. That'll let you know when it's last updated or when uh, this version comes from. And then a restart unless stops. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. And then the ho host name is going to be called Pi-hole. And then DNS is on the local host, of course. And then ports, uh, the network interface, network interface, that's on the host side. And this is in the container side. So 53 is the normal DNS port. And then the app port is going to be, this is on the host side. And this is on the container side. And then the volumes are going to create some volumes. So we're going to get the app data directory right here of where it's going to be installed. And then data pile is going to be in the host side right here. This is going to be on the host side. And then in the container side is ETC pie hole and ETC a DS mask. You can't change the container side, but you can't change this at all because, because uh, run tip, you don't let you change the, um, the config. It don't seem like. And then the environment variables are time zone. And then the web password, we we are going to get it when the user puts it in. And then we're going to put it in the environment variables. So over here in the config.json, you'll see the environment variable is at password down here. So once the user puts it in here, then it'll be put into the environment variable over here. And then that will send it to the pie hole. So we're going to uh, grant the ability for net admin on the container. And then networks is tippy main network. It's going to just put this container on the tippy main network. And then the labels for the traffic. The, the traffic is a proxy to where you don't have to expose the container to the, the public. You can just have the container um, be private. And then the proxy is over here. Uh, tr uh, proxying all the traffic inside of the container. So the container is listening on 80, port 80. So uh, this is to where it's going to load balance and put it inside the container side. See, right, right here, port 80. So the proxy is going to be listening on 80, 80, 81. You're going to go to that. And then the, the way it works is the traffic... Tr uh, proxy is it inside of the container on port 80. So I hope that's explained good enough. Um, so that's what the Docker Compose is about and how Pi-hole is run on Run Tibby. 
So we're going to start on the run tp dashboard. Then we're going to go to app store up here. We're going to search for app called Pi and then Pi hole will come up. Then you can see the base info of what we saw in the config.json. 8081 is the proxy port. And then the version of the Pi hole. Okay, now I'm going to press install. Okay, here's the password field that, that I was talking about in the Docker Compose. So I'm going to put a password in. And then I'm going to install right here. And then this should be booting up the Docker Compose in the background. So you can see settings of what the password is. You can see the open. You can stop it. So I'm going to go into it and just see if it starts up. Okay, there we go. We got it started up. So we're going to get to going in the UI. So you're going to be putting in the password that we put in when we were installing PyHole. So I'm going to put in my password. And you can see it's, it's uh, running. So we can go in here and see the query log. We can see the groups, the clients, domains, ad, the ad list. So you can create your different list and put them in here. And local DNS records, CNAME records. You got uh, di diagnostic tools. You can go in here and you can see settings. So if we go over here to DNS, we're going to be using the Google's DNS public DNS resolver. So I'm going to change it to Cloudflare's. And then you can also add Quaid9 in there as well. I'm going to add the unfiltered version. And you can go in here and you can say save. And then now when this gets a DNS query, it will send it to Quaid9 or Cloudflare. You can also add a custom upstream servers right here. So this got a DHP server, a web interface settings right here. So you can change the different uh, things, the config in it. Then DNS resolver, so... The, pri uh, the privacy levels and teleporter. You can go back to dashboard and you can see that there's um, there's graphs here that show you where it's going. And um, now you can add this uh, that, that the IP address onto here of your run tippy and it'll be running on port 53. You can add this to your router or your computer or whatever. And then you can go in here and you can see what it's uh, blocked or what it's allowed. So I just showed you how to get a uh, pie hole running on run tippy. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go down to the Big Bear Community and join our Discord. There, uh, there's a link down in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.